Joining us today is a man who is one of the leading minds in the country and also at ISRO. He is the man responsible, of course, for putting Chandrayaan-3 where in the position that it is initially and, of course, ensuring it is in the orbit and doing much more than this, that. I have with me Mr. S. Mohana Kumar, the mission director for LBM-3 and also Chandrayaan-3. Thank you so much for joining us, sir. At the outset, I'd like to ask you, you know, when we had the soft landing that was achieved, take us through those moments because I saw you getting emotional during the takeoff itself and after that when you spoke as well. But I'm sure when the soft landing happened, you must have been extremely elated. Take us through those few uh, minutes. It is an extremely satisfying moment for not only to the ISRO team, it is to the entire nation. It is really a most satisfying and proud moment to each and every one citizen of India. Uh, it really a marvelous achievement and it is a, a culmination of dedicated efforts of so many across the country. And not only in our uh, ISRO establishments, our industrial partners, so many people contributed to this. So everybody's uh, mind was uh, uh, really uh, uh, having a feel of uh, self-satisfaction as well as a sense of pride. That was the moment really we all, you all seen yeah. at that point of time when it soft landed on the lunar surface. So I must thank you on behalf of the entire country for giving us that moment to cherish for decades or years to come. I think our entire generation, I think we've not had a prouder moment in the country than something like this to see India on the moon literally. So, but I would like to ask you, you know, we've had our share, a fair share of challenges, right? Because from the Chandrayaan 1 to what we've achieved through Chandrayaan 3, there was a little bit of glitch during Chandrayaan 2, especially towards the end. When you took over, at that point in time. Uh, tell us about, you know, how that phase of transition was because there, I'm sure, you know, as scientists, you know that the margin for error in space is almost nil. But when you have a mission like that fail and the anticipation of the entire country as well at that point in time was as high as Chandrayaan 3. So tell us, how did that transition really happen to lift the morale of the entire team and ensure that, you know, you're setting on the right path? Uh, exactly. Uh, this, uh, this kind of missions or projects like... Uh, uh, basically, I am looking after the launch vehicle side, yeah. wherein uh, the uh, spacecraft will be taken to the specified orbit to for its further functions yeah. on space and further uh, movement. Yeah. Uh, however, uh, this is really a teamwork. Yeah. You may be uh, all along hearing that ISRO team or team ISRO like that. Yeah. It is a collective wisdom as well as collective effort. It is an outcome of those efforts. Yeah. And you know that we are having our uh, equipments are all heavily instrumented. So whenever some failure or some observations are there, we look into that meticulously. Mm. And we understand what exactly went wrong. Yeah. And further, the basic thing is that we will simulate the failure even. Yeah. Then we understand this is the clear cause of the uh, observation. Yeah. Then we make the corrective action. Yeah. And corrective action also will undergo so many simulations. Yeah. That is how we attained confidence to go ahead with... You've given me an answer right, uh, uh, truly as a scientist, because I was asking about the emotions that you were going yeah. through after the failure and to lift yourself up from there. So how was that emotionally for all the scientists and to lift, your, uh, uh, lift yourself up? Uh, exactly. This is what... Uh, this uh, in, in personal level also, if we think, you know, if yeah. some failure happened in our life, we should introspect and we should understand what exactly is the reason for that. That is the... And the courage with which you come out is really the uh, uh, helping factor for further success. Yeah. So that's what exactly happening in our field also. Yeah. We do a hundreds of simulations yeah. and thoroughly the review process, you know, the ISRO is having a very good, very strong review process, starting from our chairman's review, yeah. secretary's review, through the downline, the various expert committees, d design review forums, so the entire review process is our one of the strength of our success. Mm. Through these review processes, we actually take over the take care of the uh, observations and corrective actions and implementation of that. Yeah. That only ensures the flight safety as well as mission success. The chairman was pointing this out that at ISRO you have a very open system where people are allowed exactly. uh, to you know bring about their opinion. If they think something is wrong, they're allowed to uh, bring it up in a meeting. So how uh, does this entire process help all of you all at ISRO? Exactly. In, even in our uh, chairman's review also, we are all very free to exchange our opinion, views, 
our technical uh, doubts even if a, if a uh, wrong and uh, wrong uh, feel or something also will be entertained because from that also something can come out and that again if really some merit is there in the query it will further undergo reviews corrective actions that is how we've perfected the systems